Hey guys, Jeff Manchester, Manchester Music. I'm wearing a towel on my head. Hopefully that underscores the seriousness with which uh, I bring this video and the information in it. Um, a lot of people purchased the keyboard that I just reviewed in another video and were a little disappointed as I was to learn that contact isn't really functional. Um, and you can't just open contact and get the benefits of this keyboard. It's all about complete control. I found, thanks to a user on that review, um, a really weird sort of workaround that allows you to use contact. I haven't fully fleshed it out and explored just how well contact works with the keyboard and within complete control. It's almost like Neo when he breaks into Agent Smith and like explodes him from the inside. That's kind of what we're doing here, but I just want to show that I was wrong, but I'm still right. You still can't use contact. You have to use complete control and then contact, but that you can do that. So let's go to the screen. We're in complete control. We haven't done the session yet. I'll press create in logic. That'll hopefully give us a little spinning beach ball and hopefully give us a track with complete on it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There it is. So now I can go to complete control. We're familiar with this view, right? This is the one that we started with, the one that incurred so much ire in me and a lot of other people. If I go to this tab here, Actually, you know what? First things first, we have to load an instrument. I'll do that from the board itself. Let's go to something over here like Albion 5 and both strings. Let's say, boom, just ice legato, I think it's called. We're going to load that up. Now, as that's loading, not as that's loading, it's loaded, boom. So now I'm going to go over here to this little drop down menu next to the magnifying glass. Go to edit or sorry, go to plugins, native instruments, make sure that contact five is selected, okay? Now go to view and go to edit view. And boom, what do you know? There's contact. If I wanna get rid of this really annoying complete control view, I'll go back to view and I'll go to browser and get rid of that. So now we are in, con we are in, <laughs> we're in control with contact in complete control. Um, and I can look down at my keys over here, play some notes. I haven't tested this with automation to see how well it works, uh, but I'm still within the architecture of contact, which is really helpful to me. We can decide to see the keyboard or not right over here. There it is. We can go to quick load menu. I have nothing in here because I'm on a really ridiculous user setup because native instruments couldn't figure out how to make it work on my actual uh, user account on my Mac. But the bottom line is we have the a lot of the stuff from the keyboard working within contact within complete control. So I was wrong, but I was right. Um, Anyway, here we are. We don't have to use the keyboard per se to find and navigate instruments, bring them into contact, but we can use the scale, for example. If I go over here, uh, you know, we can change the scale. Um, press Shift Edit. I'll go down and choose a root. Let's say that, and I'll turn the chord mode on, the chord set on. Go back to my keyboard just to make sure that we're actually playing keys and you can see what's happening here. Yeah, right there. So, we can record some automation. We can record, in fact, um, whoops. So I'll stop that. Now I can record some automation. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to our I guess, instance. No, our plugin. There we go. Even though I hate using these rotary knobs. I'll press stop. I'll press A. And now we can see there we have all our automation dynamics and expression which I was controlling from the keyboard so I'm not sure how much more functionality is unlocked via the keyboard with contact using this workflow but I think it's really important to let people know that this is out there and this exists and by the way a challenge for anyone out there if anyone out there wants to help me troubleshoot the issues I'm having with my user account namely I think it might be a permissions issue with Mac with like terminal let me know in the comments or message me or something like that on Facebook find a way to get in touch with me and I would be so grateful if you could just help me figure this out because native instruments couldn't figure it out. Bottom line is complete control is not working 
in my main user account in, on my Mac. It's working uh, when I set, like when I create like a brand new user account. So I'd like to sort of get back to working in with this keyboard, with the system, but like in my actual user account. So if you can help me figure that out, um, <clears throat> maybe I'll throw in a plugin or something, Isotope, I don't know. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Quick little sort of control complete hack. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Take it easy. Bye.